Hi, the goal of this lesson is to teach you the basics of slope. At the end, you should be able to define the slope of a line, graph lines with a given slope, and calculate the slope of a given line. What is slope? Very simply, it's the angle or steepness of a line. Now, how are these lines different? It's not where they start, it's their steepness, which we call slope. If lines have the same steepness, then we say they have the same slope. It doesn't matter how high up they are. Okay. Now, we know that this line is steeper than this line. The question is, how do we measure slope? How do we use numbers to describe the steepness of lines? Well, if we look at this line, we see that as x increases by 1, y increases by 1. Here, as x increases by 1, y increases by 3. So the difference is how much y is changing compared to how much x is changing. Okay? And that, in fact, is the definition of slope. Slope is the change in y divided by the change in x. In other words, it's the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. Okay. So let's calculate the slope of this line. So we pick two points, here and here, and we count the change in y and the change in x. Here it's 1 over 4. So we say the slope is 1 4. This means that as x increases by 4, y increases by 1. Again, we know slope is change in y over change in x, so we count 4 for change in y, and 3 for change in x. So the slope is 4 thirds. What does that mean? It means as x increases by 3, y increases by 4. Okay. Again, let's pick these two points and count the change in y and change in x. So here the slope is 1 third. You may be thinking, well, what if we pick different points? Would we get the same answer? Well, if you're thinking that, you can answer your own question. Just pick any two points and see what you get. So let's do that. Let's pick these two points. Again, this count, 2 and 6. Right, 2 over 6 is 1 third. So we get the same answer no matter what two points we pick. And that should make sense because what are we calculating? Slope. Well, what is slope? The steepness of the line. Is the steepness here the same as the steepness here? Yeah, so it doesn't actually matter which two points we pick. The, the steepness is the same everywhere on the line. Okay. Let's practice the reverse process. Now we're drawing lines with a given slope. So let's draw a line with a slope of 2 thirds. So what does that mean? Again, it means as x increases by 3, y increases by 2. So we start from our point, and we go right 3, up 2. Right, as x increases by 3, y increases by 2. And we connect. Okay. A slope of 3 fifths, what does that mean? Again, it means as x increases by 5, y increases by 3. So we have our points, we go right 5, and up 3. Right 5, up 3. Okay. Let's practice how to plot points for a given slope. The number 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So what that means is as x changes by 1, y changes by 4. So we go right 1 and up 4. For 7 thirds, we go right 3 and up 7. 6 is the same as 6 over 1. So as we go right 1, we go up 6. For 1 third, we go right 3 and up 1. Okay. Let's consider a new case here. We know that as lines get flatter and flatter, their slopes decrease. So what number are these slopes approaching? Well, zero. So it makes sense then that a horizontal line has a slope of zero. And we can calculate this in the normal way. We pick two points. In this case, there's no change in y. The change in x is 4. So the slope is 0 over 4, or 0. Okay. What this means is as x increases, y does not increase. Okay. Let's consider these lines down here. Well, here the slope is positive. They decrease, 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 we get to 0. If we keep decreasing, well, what's less than 0? Yes, negative. So the slopes down here have negative slope. So just to be clear, what does positive slope mean? Positive slope means as x increases, y increases also. In other words, we go right and up. Zero slope means as x increases, y does not increase nor decrease. 
Negative slope means, again, negative just means opposite. So we're doing the opposite here. Negative slope means as x increases, y decreases. We go right and down. So what does the slope of negative 2 thirds mean? Well, it means as x increases by 3, y decreases now by 2. A slope of negative 2, well, that's the same as negative 2 over 1. So as x increases by 1, y decreases by 2. Okay. Let's calculate the slope just like before. We count the change in y and count the change in x and divide. So here y is decreasing by 4 as x increases by 3. So the slope of this line is negative 4 thirds. So in summary, slope, very simply, is the angle or steepness of a line. Well, how do we calculate slope? We pick two points, any two points, and we count, we calculate the change in y, and we divide that by the change in x. A shorter way of writing this is delta y over delta x. This is the Greek letter delta. It, mean, it stands for change in. So these mean the exact same thing. We know that slope can be positive, zero, or negative. Positive slope means as x increases, y increases also. Zero slope means as x increases, y neither increases nor decreases. And negative slope means as x increases, y decreases. Okay. That's the end of the lesson. Please keep watching for the slideshow practice. It's really important that you test yourself. One, because it's more effective than just hearing someone else say the answer and two, because it tells you whether you understand or not. Thank you for watching.